Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Microsoft Project in your system. Maybe a PC or a laptop. It's very easy to use this Microsoft Project from Microsoft. So I'll walk you through this tutorial how you can install it from the Microsoft official websites without having using any sort of third party tool. It's very simple to use this application in your PC or laptop and it's very uh, you know quick way you can do it so let's get started open your browser type office customization tool the first one you click it and it will take you to the office customization tool over here you need to select the 32 bit or 64 bit of your operating system depending upon your PC or laptop operating system then you select the office suites okay over here I've selected Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise version make sure you select it as per your need okay now you select the projects uh, professional 2024 volume license and then select the language pack after that you select the channels I'll select it the monthly enterprise channel and select the latest versions from the versions now you select the apps whatever the apps you want to install I don't want to install excels and uh, you know access OneDrive or Skype and what because this is already like uh, you know if you have already installed you don't need to install it further so you need to uncheck it so right now we will try to have this access excels word okay team etc now there is a feature called background Microsoft Bing. You need to uncheck it and select the language of your desire to install this application. Now I'll select it English United States. Then uh, you scroll down. Then you go to the installation sections. Over here, leave it as it is. You don't need to make any changes further. And the update section, you need to uh, uncheck it because it will take longer time period for the installation process, the MIS files. So then we select this one, the Mm -hmm. product key is not required because we need to uh, run it from this application preferably now after this you go to scroll down a little bit and click finish then after that you click the export button on the right hand side click it export select the offline open xml format select the i accept the terms and conditions select exports now the file you need to keep it it will prompt you to save the file in your download folder now i'll open it another browser over here i will type it office deployment tool you go to this website this is from microsoft itself download office deployment tool click the download button okay from the below section click it a file will get uh, saved in your download folder once this download is being completed, you need to extract this file from the location where you have saved it. Right now, I have uh, this file is being saved in my download folder. Open it. Select these two files. I'll, I'll move these files from the download folder to my desktop where I've created a separate folder for this application office. Okay. Now, I'll create this folder. I'll paste I'll make it a name for office after that I'll paste those two files from the download folder over here in the desktop itself paste it and I need to extract this office deployment tool open it the file will get stored select the terms and condition click continue and it will prompt you to save the location of the file where you want to save it so I'll select the office in the desktop this file has been successfully extracted. I'll go to that folder. I'll remove it from the uh, office deployment tool.exe file, the application file. I'll remove it. Once it gets done, select the path from uh, this desktop folder and open your CMD command prompt from the start menu. We will paste uh, this. Once this run it, will paste the path over here cd change the directory because default is your c drive when you open the command prompt once you paste it 
it will change the directory to the office directory of the desktop. Over here, we will type it setup.exe forward slash configure, then space configuration.xml file, the file which you have downloaded earlier, the configuration file. Put it exactly the same name what has been kept in your folder. Press enter, the Microsoft project will start downloading from the Microsoft website itself. Make sure you don't close this command prompt. If you close it, your application won't get installed in your system. You have to wait a couple of minutes depending upon your internet connectivity. Okay, if your internet connection is very good, you have a good speed, it will take uh, maybe one or two minutes time and it will get completed with 100%. Over here, you can see the progress bar. It will take some few more minutes, it's saying. It's nearly done. Okay, so once it get completed, it will prompt you with the all set. Here you go, it has prompted. It's being already installed in your system. Close it. Now you can close the command prompt. Now you have to test the project if you type it here in the start bar, search it, the project is being installed, Microsoft project, over here you can see the icon, open it, click the open, okay, you can see the project application has been installed, open it, here you go, the Microsoft project is installed successfully in your system, you can open test any file here, I'll test it the default template file, I'll try to open it and show it to you how it's going to work. See, it has been successfully installed without any error and it's working pretty good. So you can test a blank file as well if you want. Let's uh, check it once more. We'll open a blank project. See, it's working fine. Thank you for watching this video. We will come up with more tutorial for you. Keep watching.